Hi guys, this is what I use for millers. They are made from uh, polypropylene A4 paper folded sheet, 0.16 mm thickness. Here I'm cutting the edges. And I'm going to join these two sheets into one with clear tape. You can use a uh, bigger polypropylene sheets, but uh, these ones are found uh, easily at the local bookstore. The joint will leave a footprint on the finished uh, wing, which uh, can be removed by scrapping it with a razor. Here I'm uh, copying uh, my plan, my wind plan, onto the miller. Making it uh, one centimeter wider. Here is a close up from uh, the joint. And now I'm uh, test fitting it uh, on the actual wing. Now I'm marking the position of the peg which is 1.5 and 3.5 centimeters uh, from the wing tip. And here I'm making uh, four copies of the same miller. This is a sketch of my skins, the top and the bottom view. Next step is to copy the skins onto the millers. We do this with a permanent marker from the outer side of the miller and we mask with tape. The tape is applied in the inner side of the miller. This is the bottom side and this is the top side and this is where the spar is going to be positioned. This is the plans of the tails and are made from 3 mm XPS foam. You should know that XPS foam has directional strength and here is a demonstration of this. From one side it bends at you, it uh, touches the table and from the other side it doesn't. Now we're going to sand the tail into an airfoil from here to the trailing edge, two thirds of the tail and from here to the leading edge, one third of the tail. And we're going to do this only from one side of the tail, the top side. Sand carefully and be patient. Now we're going to cut a horizontal tail, copying it from our plan. And repeat the same process like we did in the vertical tail. The directional strength of the foam runs here parallel with the tail's uh, length. The same goes for the vertical tail. Now align with your tabletop and sand uh, carefully. You only sand the top side here again into an airfoil and blow some air from time to time This is almost uh, finished and as you can uh, see it's very flexible but you don't have to worry it's gonna stiffen up when you fiberglass it.
the weight for the horizontal is 1.1 gram and the vertical 1 gram. You can check how good your sanding is by placing the parts in front of a light source. Next up is glassing the wings and the tails with epoxy. See ya.